Well, hello guys, Poker Player here, and today I'm featuring a Wi Fi battle. It's against Shadow Le Lives or Lives, and um, it was just a random passerby, but this battle is just amazing. I was, I'm really proud of my team because his team is just all OU. Well, some UU, or, but nonetheless, it's just too OP. Just look at it. A Magnus Zone, a Greninja, a Aegis Slash, a Agron, a Gengar and a Crobat. All OP. And it's yeah, just and it's also all offensive. Yeah. Yeah, kinda all offensive. And I'm bringing just my NU pokes, Torterra, Basculin, Hypno. Bibarel, um, Miss Magius, and Rampardos. So let's hop into the battle because it's freaking long, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So he leads off with his Crobat because that's the most valuable lead. It's just a great lead, amazing speed, good attack, a lot of nice moves. So I lead off with my Rampardos. Because I know I resist the, his step move and I can hit him back with a nice head smash. And he switches into his Aggron and look at this damage of my head smash. That's, that's resisted damage and Aggron has amazing defense so wow uh, that was amazing. So here I switch out into my landscape that's my Torterra. Because he's a great wall and I wall all his moves. So he's going to go for an Earthquake because that's super effective. And I tank that like a boss. Just about 15 HP, something like that. So I go for Elite Seed because I know I can tank all of his hits. And here he gets a lucky crit with the Iron Head. I think it didn't matter too much in the game, maybe a little bit, because, yeah, I think it it mattered, kind of. I don't know, actually. So he is going to go back into his Crobat, while I go for Earthquake. Kind of good prediction on his part. So if he didn't hit the crit, I've, I'm sure I would have tanked this hit. So it mattered kinda much that crit so I, I'm not sure so you're gonna go for a revenge kill on my Kavana but he unfortunately switches out into his Gengar but that's okay cuz I revenge kill that and he doesn't have any sashes or something so that's just down really easily the crit didn't matter at all so let's see oh yeah the Magnezone that thing was a threat just wow I couldn't touch this thing because my my special defensive wall is my hypno and I'm running a parafusion flinching set with thunder wave flatter uh, and sand headbutt and substitute but I can't thunder wave it because it is an electric type so that's damn unfortunate so here yeah, I was going to go I, I was well, I did go for a flatter, sorry my English sometimes. <laughs> so his uh, Thunderbolt, yeah his Thunderbolt did not, did not do a lot of damage. Considering I'm a special defensive wall. So here I'm gonna go for a, hopefully a lucky flinch confusion hex. But... Oh, this is so funny part of the match. He gets four turns of confusion and he hits all those turns. It's he hits itself all those turns. It's just so funny. Oh man. So let's see. Oh yeah, here I'm gonna switch back into my Kavana. Just as a fodder. But it didn't even need to be a fodder. So that was amazing. So he gets two turns of confusion hacks in my favor, and I'm gonna go for a waterfall 
even though no it's not resisted I was and here he gets another turn of confusion oh man so funny maybe he just got three turns I've yeah it just got three turns and here he switches out oh if he didn't switch out it would have been a lot better oh no no he makes a bad play now it was a good play but after this move he makes a bad play for going to go for a hydro pump because I think he predicted me to switch out but I was just foldering my Basculine a few turns ago but he keeps still he still is alive so I just go for another waterfall and kill that Greninja off so that's amazing good job Basculine so now he's gonna oh yeah he goes into his H slash so I'm still foldering my Basculine <laughs> And do a crap ton of damage to a freaking Aegis Slash. So here I was kind of predicting a um, a King Shield because that would be the most optimal play. But he just goes for a Shadow Sneak, which is a good play on his part too. But a bad play for me. So my Rampardos didn't do a anything this battle, just taking two hits. Well, actually taking one hit and die in the next one. So that's kind of unfortunate. So here I'm going to go into my Kursha. And I predicted again a King Shield. But he goes for a freaking... Whatchamacallit. For a Sacred Sword. So I could have killed it. If I didn't predict that freaking King Shield. So right here... I don't know, maybe he doesn't even carry King Shield or something. But he here here he had to go for a King Shield, but he didn't. So I revenge kill him with my Basculin. So Basculin is taking uh three kills already, right? Oh no, two kills and a lot of damage on one Pokemon. So here I'm gonna sack my thing off, nearly kill it. And if my Basculin had more HP left, that Crobat would have died from recall, but he didn't. So that's damn unfortunate. So let's see. Right here, I switch into my Hippo, better known as Hypno, which is an amazing Pokemon. And I go for a Sand Headbutt because it's super effective on. Oh no, I go for a T Wave. That's later. Oh, this part of the match is so freaking long. Just stick onto it or skip it because it's way too long. So here it's just me taking down a freaking Aggron with Sand Headbutts and Confusion Hacks. But my Sand Headbutt does about 5 HP or something. It just does nothing. So that's, that's why it takes so long. And I'm playing it safe because I want to, I want I wanted to win this battle. So here goes for here I go for a substitute. Because why the heck not? And he gets the para. He get if he is confused and uh, T waved, he has a twenty percent chance of hitting. So I got I have a good chance to get my substitute off. So you see at the damage of my sand headbutt it does absolutely absolutely nothing so here he goes he gets another para hex which is really lucky in my favor I was kinda lucky this match I have to admit it but still I think if you bring NU pokes against OU punks the NU pokes needs to get a little luck to win and that's what I get to this match but I didn't win <laughs> And he gets another para flinch, uh, para hex. But the ant is so funny. You you gotta stick through, man. It's so funny. I don't know if you guys ever had a zero zero, but I had one, and that's this match. It's my first one. I never had a zero zero. And he lands his head smash, which is pretty lucky, I guess. No, yeah, a little bit. So it's still a, a really long and stally, stally part. So 
if you don't like Stolly parts in a battle just skip it to a minute or something a minute after this one so he gets another he iron head which is kinda lucky but this hypno set guys you really need to check it out it just owns a mega Angron, it owns a lot of OU Pokemon because it's so freaking funny to use and so unpredictable. Because if got if people see Hypno, they think, oh, it's just a special defensive wall. But this this is more than a special defensive wall. It's a special defensive wall who makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> so he snaps out of his confusion after two turns. So that's okay. No, no luck, no something. I was okay with that. So I'm gonna go for another flatter right now. And I think I, no, I can't. If he would have hit his iron head right now, my hip, hip, hypno would have died. <laughs> but he didn't, luckily enough. So, yeah, he hits himself, and I need just two more send headbutts to kill. I think or three two or three more so I'm gonna go for a substitute because that's the most optimal play it's just the most safe play and all this stuff and he gets a para hex so that's okay and right here I get a crit with Sen headbutt but it doesn't kill right uh, yeah, it was a crit, but it didn't matter at all. So he gets another Parahex. He got a, about four right now, so that's pretty unlucky in his on his part. But yeah, he also snaps out of confusion after one turn, so that's kind of lucky in his part again. So it's kind of even. So finally, the Agron is down. Good job, Hip Pro. You're really a beast. Hip Hypno is really my favorite psychic type because it's just a freaking weird thing and it's just oh here here I made a really bad play because oh no no I didn't I just got f go I knew he's gonna go for or for a U-turn or for a Brave Bird so said Headbutt was the most optimal play and that Magnus Zone is too bulky man if it didn't have leftovers, I would have win, win this game of, for sure. But yeah, that's damn unfortunate. So it's 2 versus 2 right now. It's really an even battle. And I'm going to go for Flatter because I can't T-wave him. And that's damn unfortunate. So he goes for a... Uh, let's see. Or he hits himself, right? He No, he goes for a T-wave. So I'm... I, I'm already freaking slow. That's yeah. I'm a, I am already freaking slow, and he slows me an another time with the T wave. So that's it's okay because I wasn't able to. Well, I was able to outspeed the Magnezone, so Magnezone is really slow too. So here he hits itself, but I get a para hex, which is damn unfortunate. So I'm actually foddering my Hypno off right now because I know I can't do anything to this Magnus Zone and I know I can outspeed with my Miss Magius. So yeah, that's that's why. So he's gonna go for Flash Cannon and do a heck of a lot of damage because he's boosted by two stages with my Flatter. And then land my Send head, set Headbutt. So yeah, it, this is another Stolly part because he hits well I don't know what's happened happened next but I was talking that Hypno is one of my fa well it is my favorite psychic type Pokemon right now because it's such a weird but cool looking thing <laughs> it's used nose and it's uh, I don't know what to call that but oh man it's such an amazing Pokemon and also his move pool is really crazy and cool so that's why I love him so much. So he kills me. Oh no, he didn't kill me. I think he got a high roll, the first flash cannon. So yeah, if my sand headbutts would have done a little bit more damage, 
I think I would have won the game, but yeah, it didn't, so that's unfortunate. So he goes for another flash cannon and kill me off. So right here, it's the end of the battle. My Magnezone, oh no, his Magnezone is on low health and my Miss Magius is my last poke. So I would have won the game. If I was running a focus chest, which I usually do on my Miss Magius, but for my NU Rex OU Road to Ranked, no, no, NU Rex, Rex OU series, I put a um, Live Orb on it because one of my other Pokemon needed a uh, Sash. But right here, he kills my Miss Magius and he dies from recoil. So it's a 0-0 zero, zero on his favor. It's just too funny. Oh man. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, battle. I did. And um, I see you guys in my next video. Later.